dog show. Nicole is out walking the beast. She's going to try to wear him down so he isn't too overly excited. Did you wear him? Ah, ow! Oh, God, that hurts. No lollipop for you. Is that a cat? No. What the hell is it? Do you think we could feed it to Max? They wouldn't, they wouldn't like that, would they? Are these the Portuguese water dogs? If that lady over there wants, I've got an extra pair of electric shears, she could finish the job. <laughs> hey, Pooch. Hi. I'm sorry, I didn't get your name. It's Gene. Gene, nice to meet you, Gene. See, he brought two dogs. You only brought one. No, I brought four. He brought four. <laughs> Maybe you could lend a couple to her, because she only she's only got the one over here. I might need help. <laughs> Those uh, Portuguese water dogs, they're they're bred to go in the water, right? Well, geez, honey. All right, I don't well, know. if that if it were used to retrieve fishermen's nets, but I could be getting them mixed up with poodles. Well, wouldn't it make sense to like have a pool or something, and they could have like a swim test? Judging confidence. But what they can do. Yeah, it's a beauty contest. Yes, it's a beauty contest. Well, if it's a beauty contest, how come they're only half shaved? I mean, come on. I don't know. That's the way my, they're the most beautiful, my according to the breed standard. My trying to decide how obnoxious it could possibly be. Oh, stop it. <laughs> I'm not obnoxious. I'm just overly inquisitive. <laughs> overly inquisitive. And I have a penchant for asking unbelievably stupid questions. Yes, you do. And making the most idiotic observations. Marie Hammond. But that's what endears me to my blog readers. <laughs> now that over there is the funniest looking Portuguese water dog I've ever that's seen, that light colored one. Yeah. I would swear it's a retriever, but yeah. that's just me. Yeah. Maybe it's a Spanish water dog and they're just, they just look different. Yeah. Why don't you go, you know... Film some other things. Have somebody else's Hey, you too. <laughs> I mean, honestly, Nicole, does that look normal to you? His first match show, he actually did best in match. Did he? Yeah, and then he failed miserably. He decided he didn't want the judges touching his mouth. Uh huh. That's the age. Yeah. They're still teething. They're so sensitive still. So, you know. Well, we've been training him to get used to it oh, yeah. now. Of course, yeah. He's a well, the taser helps. <laughs> oh, wait, I wasn't supposed to say that, was I? We know you're kidding. Would you mind looking at his teeth for me? At his bite size? Well, maybe when it comes time to check his teeth, I could, like, dangle a schnauzer and tell him it's food. <laughs> See, I love this breed because it's just plain beautiful. It's a sleek, beautiful... That's it. They're very low-maintenance pets. The only thing you got to worry is about worry about is that they're constantly hungry. Well, this one over here has already eaten two of the kittens. But they were. She made some little pastry. Whoopie pies. The whoopie pies. Whoopie pies. Had them sitting on the kitchen table. He learned how to open up the gate at about three and a half months old. Which I have it on film, too. I'll have to show you. <laughs> yeah. Now it's the problem. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, and I finally now have something to hold together, but at the time I did it and I forgot. So he I opened it up, let himself into the kitchen, and he ate all the whoopie pies. 
Well, that's right. He paid dearly for it later because the whoopie pie has turned him into a whoopie cushion. <laughs> Actually, we paid dearly yeah. for it. Yes, we did. But that's right. We opened up the windows, aired the place out. And he still, he still, he never went when you brought him outside. He didn't oh, take a leak. All right, yeah. What he's doing is he's saving it for the judge's shoes. <laughs> I've seen some of the strangest breeds at these shows that we've been to. Uh, last year we went to the Westminster show, and I swear to God, I saw creatures that look like they're out of the Star Wars cantina scene. You know, some really weird, obscure breed of dog, and I'm thinking to myself, like, where the hell did they breed this dog? Like a nuclear power plant or something? I, you know, you should have a category here for most ridiculous-looking breed, because some of them—that's a, a bitch. I like saying that because I can get away with it at dog shows. Yeah, the feminists come after me now. Ha, I'm at a dog show. It's a bitch. Don't be rude. None of that butt sniffing stuff. <laughs> well, I'm telling you, he's a handful, this one. See, Nicole, aren't you glad I come with you to these dog shows? I liven things up for people. And the best part is next week the restraining order will be lifted. Did you see him go back into the class? Hmm? Did you see him go back in? Did I see him go back in? Yeah. No. He got reserved. What's reserved? Second, basically. He got, instead of winner's dog, he got reserved. So it's just any reason that the winner's dog cannot accept the points, he would win. What would be the reason the dog can't accept the points? Um, I don't know. Either they put the wrong dog in or, you know, skip Oh, yeah, this. that never happens. Uh, it has. Things like that have happened. But don't put, he got two ribbons. Two ribbons. Could I see them? Oh, look at that. Winners. And there's his first place. Oh. And if he had moved just slightly better instead of shaking his head, he probably would have won. When we get out into the parking lot, you're getting a beating. No, you can't have the lollipop. No. What you can do is be a little more calm. You know what? Ambien. No. Tylenol PM? Chamomile tea. Or in the ring, she's <laughs> really pretty. Who's she out of? Um, Sedania, which is my my oh, girl. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, that settles it, Nicole. Next next show, we're giving him Ambien. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. And good luck with him. He's gorgeous. No, we'll need it. Well, you better get a picture. Great, so you're telling me I drove four hours and we got no points. We drove four hours and he had a very good experience. The Wait, judge don't put those away because I want you to take a picture of me with him. <laughs>